Welcome to this segment of Mountain Sled or Garage. Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to talk about snow flaps on your mountain sled. All the brands come with a snow flap. They serve a purpose. The biggest purpose for them is to help keep your snowmobile cool. We're going to talk about that in just a second. But last year, Skidoo came out with a remo removable snow flap. And it's kind of a nice little ad they put on their sleds last year. Again, this year, not all, all their sleds have it, but just some of them. I think it was the Expert models and the Turbo model this year also have it. But we're going to talk about why the snow flap is there, what benefits you can get from removing it, and when maybe you need to run it. Now, the main thing you need to think about when with the snow flap is, its main benefit is to help keep your snowmobile cool. Kind of a minor benefit is to help your buddies that are riding behind you down the trail not get pelted by all the crap your track's flipping up. Now, we're going to go over here, we're going to talk a little bit about cooling. I hope you can see this drawing I've made. This is supposed to be the back of a snowmobile. Blue is the tunnel, black the track, we got the lugs. Now, under normal conditions, if you don't have a snow flap, when you're running down the trail and there isn't a lot of snow on it, these lugs here are going to be flipping snow up like this. You're going to throw up this giant roost like this. All that snow is going to be flying back, but what your snowmobile needs when you're going down the trail, it needs the snow to cool your snowmobile, to cool your engine down. So if you have a snow flap on and you're going down the trail, let's do this a little bit different here. We'll take that off. We're going to draw ourselves our little our snow flap here. Now, all that snow was flying back there. You're still going to get some that goes this way, but all the snow is going to hit here on your snow flap and it's going to bounce back on your track here, and it's going to get shot this way up inside your tunnel. And why that's important is because you're, all your cooling for your snowmobile engine is up here inside your tunnel. Now, the brands are a little bit different on how they do that. We're going to show you that here in just a second. Okay, so now we're work, looking up underneath this Articat. So you can see these fins right here in the bottom of the front of the bulkhead here. Well, as the snow flies around, gets carried around here, from your lugs, it flies and hits onto here. All that snow cools that. That's like the radiator in your car. And Articats is just up here in the front. It doesn't go the full length of the tunnel. If we go over here to this Polaris, we can show you here. This silver U-shape here, that's the tunnel cooler. That's what keeps your snowmobile cool. Your, your coolant runs through there. It's essentially the same on a Skidoo. It runs underneath the tunnel there. So you need snow, and when you're going down the trail, you need snow um, up on top of those coolers. Okay, now we just went over why you'd want a snow flap, what that does to keep your engine cool as you're going down the trail, especially trails that don't have a lot of snow on them and then more icy. Um, you can also use your ice scratchers. That'll also help kick snow up into that track. It can flip it around onto those coolers that we showed you. But once you get off trail, things totally change as far as what your snow flap does. It can be more of a detriment. And this is really a good picture of what it can do against you as you're out in the mountains. So we're side hilling along with this Articat last year, and I stopped to get someone that was stuck down here, and I stuck my sled there. Um, and I didn't even notice this until I got off the sled and looked at it. But this is a great picture to show how the side of your snowmobile, this, the side panels is this part here that's dug into the snow. Then the running boards is this, which dug in. Then you can see the edge of the tunnels that comes here. But this whole edge right here, look at that snow flap that's digging out that whole edge of the snow there. Plus down here, it's packing this little level down right here at the bottom. So that snow flap is really dragging. And that could potentially, as it drags and causes that resistance, can promote you getting stuck. Also, as, you, as you're doing this maneuver across the side of the hill, if you want to turn and point down like that, tail of your snow will rotate like this. This end of your sled's gonna dig into the side of the hill, your tunnel's gonna get into the hill, and the snow flap's gonna be jammed into the side of the hill, and that's really gonna be detrimental to you 
doing that turnout and effectively. And there's a number of other um, technical riding techniques in the mountains where your snow flap is gonna be detrimental. So once you get down the trail and you keep your engine cool, having that snow flap on while you're, once you get off trail can be detrimental. And that's why there's this big fad right now being able to remove your snow flap. Okay, now that we've talked about the detrimental sides of the snow flap dragging in the snow when you're off trail, We've talked about how snow flap is beneficial as you're going down the trail to help keep your engine cool. We kind of want the best of both worlds. Like we said before, Skidoo kind of started this trend last year of being able to remove your snow flap. So I've had a lot of people ask me about how, how do I get a removable snow flap on my Articat or my Polaris? And so we're going to have a couple other videos that show you how to do that if you want to do that. I didn't include it here because I, don't, I like making these videos short so they don't get too long. Um, so we'll have a separate video that show you how to make one of these removable snow flaps on a Polaris, one on an Articat, and then also if you have a Skidoo, like I bought a Skidoo Turbo this year, I spent $18,000 on the sled, it didn't even come with the snow flap. So, but you can buy one separately from Skidoo if you want, I think they're about $140 uh, removable snow flap to add on to your Skidoo if you want, or if you want to make your own snow flap. Um, now I've made removable snow flaps, I mean this is, my Articat one, um, we've trimmed the back of it here. This, you can use your Articat snow flap on your Articat. Some people don't like it because it's kind of big and bulky and heavy. One of the real popular snow flaps to add to a snowmobile is this real nice thin Polaris one. They're pretty inexpensive. You can buy these for about 50 bucks. Um, that's a real nice one. I've put these on Articats before. I actually built one of these for my Skidoo as a removable snow flap. If you want something bigger that's going to give you better cooling. This is the Polaris 3-inch track snow flap. It's different. The one I just showed you is the one for the 2.6 track. This is the one for the 3-inch track. It's a little bigger, comes down farther. It's going to help you get more snow cooling um, spinning around in your track. So I've used all three of those for snow flaps for my Polaris's and my Articats and now on my Skidoo. So we'll have a video in each th a section, the Skidoo section, the Articat section, and the Polaris section, how to make and remove a snow flap for each brand if you want to do that. And uh, thank you for tuning in um, this segment on uh, benefits and the detriments of your snow flap. And we'll see you next time in Mountain Slitter Garage. Mm -hmm.